Hey guys, it's Pamela. Another multi swipe, and I've got a teal blue. I've got a pretty green, kind of like um, a uh, avocado green. <laughs> Makes me think of a kitchen. And then a neon orange. And a dark magenta. And just kind of a basic blue. Now, this pour is just kind of an experiment on stretching out that middle swipe. One of you said in the comments, one of you, I think that's funny, um, that I should stretch out the middle swipe and then continue on doing the end swipes. And that's a great idea. In fact, I, it's what I had planned on doing after I finished the last video and I halfway through it and I was like, that middle swipe's just not stretching out. So we had the same idea on that. And I'm gonna try it, but I'm on a 12 by 12. And um, we're gonna see if I don't lose some paint off the sides here before I can get this done. When I do this, then I've got like this ugly, like stuck to the canvas. I don't know why they stick to the canvas because they're laying on paint. Anyhow, okay, let's go. Let's get my white out here. And this might be a little thick. Yeah, that's thick. <laughs> My goodness. That was really thick. All right, well, I guess I'm using a little more paint today just because these are so thick and I thin them out. They've been sitting. Some of these paints I've probably made like three weeks ago and they're just sitting. But they're gonna work. You just add a little wetting agent to it and keep going. Didn't thin out my white again, but let's see what happens. You have a seat. Okay. I'm going halfway into the white. And I should have started in the middle, I forgot. Again, I'm using Glidden Premium. I didn't mix any gack with it this time. The last one dried fine. So I'll show you guys later, later on in the video. That's what you shouldn't do, like drip in the middle of it. Did right there. Okay. 
you. And I'll give it some character right there. And this one too. So I screwed it up. I'm dipping into my other side and that's what I don't want to do. Okay, a little heat action because this varnish that I use likes a little heat. It likes it. Actually, I'm using a combination of my usual polyurethane clear gloss oil modified water-based that I've always used, but I am adding a little Josonia gloss to it because this is so lightweight and that oil modified is kind of heavy. Sometimes I'll put a little polyacrylic with it too. Really, these colors are like a mix of, because I've had them, like I said, sitting around, so I don't know. I don't know what's in them. I mean, that stuff's in them, but I don't know the ratio. That's what I mean. You know how it is, guys. I mean, I don't paint every day, and I don't. Oh. I write down what I do, but then... Recorder stopped. As I was saying, I write down what I do, but then I end up adding to it later. So there's no telling what the ratios are. Those cells are big though, though. Those cells are humming. Okay. First, I'm gonna go, let's see, what should I do for first, I think? Well, yeah, let's go, no, yeah. I go over. Yeah, well, being a 12 by 12, I don't have to worry about it as much, but it's kind of given me a little feel for it because I was a little nervous to get out the 10 by 20 today and film. This orange, I don't know. Let's go in the same order. green before. I don't know where it went. Didn't I put green? I thought I did. I'm going to put some pink. That neon orange just takes over. I should have just tilted side to side with that middle stripe and then this is so beautiful on the side here. This is an inch and a half canvas and um are so thick. I should have thinned these out more. I really should have.
Okay guys, I wanted to give you a shot of the side. Now, I couldn't get all the sides really good, but hold on while I walk in front of the light. Oh my gosh, okay. Like this side, there's, you know, there's not much on it. And then there's this side. It's pretty cool, not as cool as the other side. I kinda had to touch up that corner. But overall, love it. I love that. Yeah, I think stretching the middle is going to work when I do a, an oblong canvas. See, that side's kind of, I'm going to have to just wipe that out. But I'll fix it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you for another one. Bye. Okay, I'm up in the, what used to be a studio up here. Sorry, it's kind of dark. If I turn on that light, then I'll have an overhead glare. That's why I moved downstairs bigger window and bigger than this one. But I wanted to show you, see how this is like kind of crowded together. And for some reason that blue turned really dark. It started out like a cyan blue. I called it a primary blue and it turned really dark. I don't know what happened with that, but Pretty much dry. Well, it is dry. <laughs>